Well, hey folks, VC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Thank you. And welcome back. <laughs> ah, they're noisy, aren't they? Welcome back to the Kootenai Valley. Yes, indeed. We're here on Farm Sim 17. It's a bloody beautiful day out. And, uh, yeah, today we got some farmy things to do. I've been kind of avoiding this project, not for any particular reason, but uh, perhaps just a, an anxiousness to get other things done. But something very annoying is having a drive through silo that you can't drive through. So I think today, now I'm probably, considering the space we're dealing with, um, yeah, I think we'll need to bring our uh, attachment in here. But yeah, I'm going to knock uh, a couple of choice trees back out of this silo area. You, you, you. And yeah, I'm thinking you. So, I don't really want to fall that into this sheep. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to... Can, is there room to lay it down beside the silo? There kind of is, eh? Hmm. So I do hope everybody is doing well today. It is a Tuesday as I record this. Uh, I hope that's about right. I feel like I want to be a little more this way. Yeah, it's a Tuesday as I record this. The 23rd of June. Look at that, I was off by just a couple degrees. Hmm. Alright, well, don't try this at home, kids. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Yeah, especially if you consider I had the saw the wrong way around the whole time. Let's go back down and try again. Okay, once more, don't try this at home, kids. There we go. Ooh, wonder what I got the sawdust set to. This could be making a mess of the universe, let me tell you. Alrighty, ooh. <laughs> I can see my house from here. Well, actually I can't, it's, I think, that way. Yeah, you still spawn in on the other side of the map, but. There we go. But that's alright, because, uh... You just, uh... Transmutate yourself over to one of the tractors. Yeah, this doesn't... Oh. So you're not actually... No, you're not leaning there. You're... Ugh. Really? That's how much I missed it by. Like six inches, and I would have had the right angle. And I bet you that. <laughs> and there we are. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's some of that there fancy Canadian lumberjacking. Let me tell you. There's, uh... What? You've never seen somebody uh, jump up and then hang by their chainsaw as they cut a log? And I mean, look at that. That's, that's just... <laughs> hmm... Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here we go. There is a ladder. Good stuff. There we go. All right. Well, yeah. Hey, yeah, boy. Job well done there, bucko. All right.
Man, I think guys, this is only one tree out of four I intend on removing. <laughs> oh, it's only bound to get better, right? Right? Okay. Now this one, I can't cut this until I haul it out behind that fence or we're just going to be trouble. So, I guess now would be a good time to get a tractor. Hey, remember guys, if you uh, like the content, don't uh, don't be afraid of hitting that like button down on the bottom. Nobody makes a record of it. It's not like somebody will go, Oh, you liked that? You know. The, uh, the amount it helps out the channel is uh, inconceivably larger than the amount of effort it takes to do, put it that way. And it is very, very much appreciated. What is with these dead poplars? See, that's not a good sign, man. Plants shouldn't just be randomly dying around your farm. Um, what am I doing? Ah, oh, yes. And, yeah, we're going to use the Schluta for this. I just think it's a little more suited to the subtle act of forestry. Which, as you can tell, is not, uh, not as simple a thing as it first appears. <laughs> yeah, even I can't say it with a straight face, so... You can only imagine, right? However, on the uh, on the plus side, I suppose we might as well bring this over. I won't be using it for a moment, but we will need it. On the plus side, uh, I have been thinking of ways to spend our rapidly increasing uh, fluffle of cash here. I mean, 400, oh, almost 450k. We're doing uh, very well here in the Valley of the Jolly Ho 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 Sasquatch. So, let's uh, There we go. So, this should be pretty much, uh, yeah. Huh? Well, that's, uh, that's some of their giant's physics. <laughs> that's a thing of beauty in it. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty, man. It is, it is. Okay. Steady. There you go. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Perfect. And, and it's an awful big log, but it's not very heavy. Nah. Let's just grab that cable, whip it back around there. New tough off the ground. All right, let's take it for a wee drag, shall we? And yeah, this is probably the lesser of the two evils. We'll just whiz right up between those. Okay. Yeah, this is part where we can cost thousands of dollars of damage as we swing this back and forth, hitting trailers and tractors. Willy nilly. Oh, Nelly, slow down. Slow down. Come on. Come on. Oh, yet. There you go. Look at that. It's like a pro. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't go swinging over there and taking out all my honey jars. 
That's frowned upon in this part of the country. Um, oh. Well, we'll do it with the next one. I was actually going to drop some off for our beekeeper. Pitching, eleven hundred dollars. Always worth the drive. Always worth the drive. Yeah, I want to, uh, I think I said, drop a couple of logs down here. He's getting low. And yeah, in case you're wondering, the boxes we use for our honey production, they are waxed. So, they're fine sitting out here in the rain. Same kind of boxes a lot of fruit producers and such use, just for that reason. They may have to sit out there in the wet and the whizzies for a while. So, let's, uh... Da -da -da -da. Go for the wild and woolly here. I think I'm just going to, uh... Pull this guy right off the fence and up the hill, along with his buddy. So, yeah, we're going to hook you first. And then add a little bit of a chain on there. And, oh, that's a bit messy. See, never happened. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Okay. Uh, well, that can go better. Come on. Really? This is what you're going to put me through? Really? Huh. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. Ra-cha-cha. -cha. Surprised you, didn't I? Okay. Uh, see, they don't act like normal logs would. There you go. And there had to be a way to make you behave. I don't know. I suppose it would almost make more sense to simply drive the... Well, I don't know how big these things are, do I? Let's just take them down to the beekeeper. We'll have to cut them up for him, because, well... <laughs> I don't really think that dude's going to want to be dragging 20-foot logs that are 2-foot round into his shop. So we're going to take a couple of quick minutes here to set them up. Because we know this stuff is uh, not only worth good money, but it's pretty easy trick, isn't it? It's all nice short drives, not like dealing with that biogas. It might pay off, but it takes you days. Days and days and days. Here, let's face it, the bees do most of the work, right? I just sort of micromanage the little buggers. Okie dokie. All right, like I say, we'll just spend a couple of minutes here getting this straightened out. Unhook our chains. Hey, buddy. No, oh, yeah, we're catching you just in time. You're down to, like, your last log, aren't you? So... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Ba 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 boom. Whoop. <laughs> Jeez, sorry about that, man. You think I'd know better to try and walk sideways through the door with a log, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know about him. He's got no sense of humor to start with, so when something like that happens, it's like just complete waste of time on him, you know? He just lives to make honey or hives. Honey hives? Yeah, honey hives. Beehives. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there you go. That's, yeah. You know you're good at your job when, eh? Oh, okay. That part's full. Where do we put the rest of these? Eh. Stack them over here. Let him worry about it. <laughs> That'll keep him busy for a while anyway. Because he's definitely one of them believers in slow but steady wins the race. And he's been racing since we got here, so... Whoop. Here, let's just... Morning, Bill. Bill. Bugger. Not the friendliest dude, either. Alright, let's get back to, uh... Let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, they may be uh, water resistant, but I don't know if we've uh, made them at all tractor resistant. And I know they're not farmer resistant because I've broken more than my fair share of them. Da 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 da. Alrighty. So that was tree numero uno. Yeah, I know. You figure I could have cut a hole forest down by now, being a world-famous Canadian lumberjack. Oh, wait, no, that was just a guy I knew. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I don't mind that one. That's gonna stay. You? I've been thinking about you. Come out. No! You're fine, too. So it looks like my next one down is this guy. Oh, I should be able to lay it right beside my tractor. Because we know how well those sort of things go. Okay, if that were 90, I should be... Let's say right about here. Right about here. And, uh, timber. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. you're gonna have to live with a little bit of sawdust actually that's I'll leave that as is and uh, yeah I'll leave it as is now did I do that as well as I'd hoped I was going to let's have a look here uh, it's not quite even no probably back here Okay. Now. 
Let's see how we do here. Oh. the other side of the tractor. What the heck do you think you're doing? Alright. Fancy lumberjacking. Oh, I hope I haven't spearing my sheep, are you? Oh, no. They're, look at them. See, sheep are smarter than you think, man. Look at that. There ain't a sheep for 100 feet of this log. They've seen me lumberjack before. Sure they have. Alright. I'm going to go a little further with this, actually. Okay. Uh. Hmm. No. I'm not going to, uh, not take advantage of it. Because I think we should be able to drag this guy out a little bit while we straighten this one. I think. Okay, you're all the way around, but that other one is just being a pain in the noodle. Come on. Come on, fall off the fence. Oh man, you're just not gonna, are ya? Just not gonna. I don't really want to haul you out into my field. There we go. Look at that. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Let's go get these out of here. Although again, I guess I could simply... Uh, yeah, let's do that. That makes more sense, doesn't it? First of all... a nasty little bit. Blah, blah. And... Hmm. What are they? They're about there, probably. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just bring the truck over from the other side. grab these rather than bringing them all up there in uh, we groups Tashman's a great tool to use for uh, getting them out of the bush but not quite as effective for this sort of thing okay now there was a Linda Blair if I've ever seen one okay and you get Oil. All right, let's go grab ourselves a truck de logging, as the French Canadians do not say. Speaking of which, hey, Delirious, how you doing, dude? already, eh? <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, the sip ice cold yucky morning coffee. Mm. 
That was outstanding. Uh, about an hour and a half ago. Ugh. Yeah, it's looking a little stumpy around here. Ooh, big pile of sawdust in my field. Well, that's not good. See what side we're on here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. First of all, let's uh, stop the auto load thing. Left side? No, right side. Where are you? Oh, right side. Okay, now auto load. There you go. Look at that. Whee! Hello. Great demand at FN Exports for wood chips. Really? Eh? <laughs> well, I got some wood chips for you. Oh, right. They won't let you move while that's on the screen. I forget that sometimes, man. You can actually crash and kill yourself in FS19 now. They'll let you do it while you're reading all that. All right, that's, uh... I think got uh, more than enough room for us to, uh... Pile a couple more of these on here. So, we're getting there. So, that tree's cool. I guess we're down to this guy, aren't we? Uh huh. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. I should be able to drag it out that way, though. Maybe. So. <clears throat> <laughs> so as far as that goes, no eight. Go eight. Yep. Good, good, good. And yeah, I don't want to hit those other trees. Ah, oh, this is gonna be close. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Whee! There we go. Tim Burger. Yes, look at that. Bye, guppies. Oh. There we go. No biggie. Whoa. Huh. Well, 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 well. I don't... I know, I'm trying not to. Shut up. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do there, sheepies. Um... Yeah, yeah. Just so I don't get them all in there. We're going to uh, sacrifice a little bit of the log. We still got a bit of wood chips in there. I'm sorry. They're pine chips, though. It's not like it's a cedar. It's not going to get... Yeah, whatever. Why am I explaining it to you? You guys don't trust me anyway. All I ever want is our coats. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um... Da, 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 dee. We might as well just. Uh, I hate that that's behind the stump, but what can you do, right? And then you go where? All the way to there. Yeah. With that in mind, I'd be thinking. Oh, here. I don't want that in my face. 
that we better approach in this one from here. Just drag it the heck out of there where we've got a little more freedom to actually deal with it. Uh, you know what? I can just tell from where I was just sitting in the tractor that leaving this here In the long run, although it adds another 130 feet to the length of the tractor, it is not going to be in my best interest. Okay, let's get you. Uh, oh, we're still on the front, aren't we? Yes. Did I do anything weird to it? No, not really. Okay. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> Put it in reverse, man. That's how you drive into things. All right. Do, 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 do. And right on the end. <sighs> That's an awful long bit to be dragging out of there, you know. Turned on? Nope. Oops. What have I done? I don't know. Uh, I need to turn that winch on. There we go. Alright, let's get this out here. Into the wild and open. Nice, it's clear. Perfect. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's go get a little piece. Say yeah. That was a big tall tree, eh? Holy smokes. Crazy, baby. Crazy. Alright. Yeah, let's get you up off the ground. Oh, there we go. Now, well, hopefully, we won't pogo stick you against one of these stumps. Are you up enough? Alright, yes, we're clear, excellent. And it's a straight run out the wood now. There we go. Where are you going, lad? Alright. Hmm. Actually, it's not that big a difference. Not really. But no, that wasn't my best cutting it in half effort, was it? <laughs> Alright, let's just get you up out of the way for a moment. Lovely. Ooh, I see the episode is running on a bit. Well, hopefully you're all still sticking around, or some of you are. Okay, that's a bit short, and that's a bit long. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have some stumpy pieces. Pardon the pun. Boom. And you... Yeah, we're going to put one right in here. One over 
off. Okay. So now, once I take the, uh, yeah, it's plenty of length, isn't it? I can get a good length, good long trailer through there if I have to still make the turn. Yeah, we can definitely leave these two. That's going to do it for sure back here. Clean up the stumps. I know, it seemed like a... Where do these little bits keep coming from, man? I don't recall doing things that way. We'll just set it over there. <laughs> what are the odds? Anyways, yeah, I think we'll... Uh, every one of them did that, eh? Weird. Well, that's lumberjacking at its finest. Oh, really? Come here. And... Two points. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, anyway. Get up there. Thank you. <laughs> Hope everybody enjoyed the episode. I'm going to call it there. We'll, uh, we'll get all of this up on the truck. And, uh, ooh, look. Isn't that gorgeous? It's all gone into flour. Our soybeans are flowering. Little bean flowers, man. All right. Take care of each other, folks. Stay the heck away from each other, and we'll see you here the next time. Ciao for now.